Okay, so this cylinder has got a hole in it. We want to determine the volume and surface area here. So the volume, again, is going to be fairly straightforward. We're going to take the, vol the area of the circle. Okay, so the area of the big circle in this case is going to be 40 centimeter radius. Okay, so pi r squared. And we're going to do it slightly differently. I think we're just going to take this side surface area. So we're going to take subtract the smaller circle. So pi times 25 squared. Okay, so that's going to be the, that this works out to be the area of that red surface. Okay, so the that it's called a washer, that surface, kind of donut shape there. The area of that surface times the thickness, which is 12 centimeters, is going to give us the area of, or the volume of this, of this object. Okay, so when we multiply this all together, we're going to end up with 160, or sorry, 1600 pi minus 625. So I think that's going to be 700, 975 pi's. Okay, that's my that's the area of that surface times 12 is the thickness gives us volume so we end up with let's just double check that calculation okay and we times that by pi so times that by 12 thickness by 12 okay so I get 1,000 so 11,700 pi and that's going to be cubic centimeters okay and that's a decimal value that works out to be about 36,756 so 36,756 0.6 approximately I'm just going to round that to seven centimeters cubed so if you're Calculations are close to that with within rounding if you're rounding you're going to be off by a little bit and that's perfectly okay So that works out to be the volume The surface area. I think we did the surface area for this problem before but we need to make sure we have can draw a net of this although the net of this is Not we can't actually draw a proper net because we can't attach that inside surface to that so we already worked out the sides that surface of this donut shape here that was 975 pi okay so we want to work out the surface of this of the side band here so we're going to use 40 pi as my width oh, sorry 80 pi i'll draw it down here 80 this width of that rectangle is going to be 80 pi I didn't really draw this very proportionally. I should just actually shrink that a little bit because this can't really be that big. Okay, same with this piece here. Just going to shrink that a little bit. Okay, it's not accurate, but it's a little bit more accurate. So that's 80 pi there. And that's going to be 12, 12 thick. So 12 times 80, we're going to get 960. Okay, so this works out to be 960 pi on that surface. This is going to be 50 pi wide. Okay, the radius is 25 on the inside circle. So this band is going to be the inside circle times 12 is going to give us 600 pi. Adding that all up. Okay, we're going to end up with, uh, what's that, 30? I have to double check again, but the surface area is going to be 975, 975, 960, and then 600. If I add, add up all those surfaces, I'm going to end up with 30, 35, 10 times pi that's going to be centimeters squared okay so these all have pies with them okay so that's there's my surface area
I want to multiply figure that decimal value, that's going to be 11,026, about 0.99. Again, so I'm going to just round that to 11,027 square centimeters.